aerial cable or underground, they have symbologies, and each symbol means something. So we're going to start off with what we have for taps. So tap symbology. What is it? It's the device that we use to connect to to feed houses, right? To feed people. Taps come in three flavors for Comcast. Three flavors. Two ways, which means how many outputs? Two. Four, one. 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 Four ways. And three. And then eight ways. Two means it's got two outputs. Four means it's got four outputs. And eight means it's eight outputs. Want to grab the box? We'll actually show you what they look like. All right. So you get one going in, four out, two out, four out. Yep. Yeah. So these are taps. So the symbologies for these items out in the, on the pole line is a circle for a two way. Or a two, well, I shouldn't, you know what? I shouldn't even call them two ways. Make it easier for you. Let's call it this two port. Four port, and then eight port. Makes it easy for you, all right? So the symbology for a two port, I'm gonna grab a two port, just a plate, doesn't matter, is this. So what you're looking at, if I see a circle on my print, that's a two port. It's got two ports on the outside, all right? Should be a four port in there. That's a four port. Four ports on the outside, right? I know I have an 8 port, just a plate. It's good enough. And then you have the 8 port. Right? The symbologies for these are circle is a 2 port, a square is a 4 port, and this is the one that's kind of interesting. Exactly. I didn't have your extension. I guess was that hexagon? Is it 8 port? Now, why are there no 6 ports? Because we don't use them. So if, I'm got a, if I've got five houses feeding from a pole and I need five ports, what, which one's going up? Eight. The eight port. Well, that's designed to really drive you nuts and they put a two and a four up there, which then you talk to design about that. So two. So look at your print and you can actually see these. So if you look on your print, it will go with the one that's over by pole number three on East Street, right? If you look in the middle of the street, there's some cable there that goes to a four, a circle with a four in it, right? What is that telling me? The two port. Anybody know what the four stands for? Okay, let me write these down. Every single tap out there has a number corresponding to it. Which one is this one? 14, right? Anybody see what that one is? 21. What's that one? That is the value. Now, without getting into design and understanding all these things, when we design these, the further you go out, what happens to your signal? Degradation. Degrades, which means at the beginning of the run, right, I need to... I need to have a certain amount of signal to make it to a house. I need that same amount of signal at the last house, right? So if I had all the same value taps, what would happen to the person at the last house? No signal. And what would happen to the person at the first house? The best. They'd have way too much, right? Mm -hmm. So that number tells how much signal is removed from the hard line to make it even across the entire system. I'll show you a quick. Those come in flavors. Four port or four value, which means we're removing four, four dB, if you want to call it, off of that tap. Eight value, which means we're removing eight. An 11 or a 12, depending on which system you're in. Some are 11, some are 12. A 15, a 17 or an 18, again, depending on which system you're in. A 20, 21, depending on what system you're in. 23, 24, depending. And then a 26. How come there's not a 14? There's just the levels they go into. Well, I just figured you have a 14. Well, they, they could have, like actually, okay. they could be a 14. Okay. Okay. Again, the reason it is, I shouldn't even use these. These are actually a different type of tap that's used in a different system. Uh, these are what we call, uh, they're millennium 
uh, taps, these are used for Wi-Fi systems. So when we go out and do Wi-Fi's, these are what we're installing. So those have to be a lot more exact on the signal level. Mm -hmm. So they order these by, you know, four, five, six, seven, all the way up. Right. Where with the standard taps like these, you're not going to see that much of a, you know, you're not going to order 15 for, you know, of those. Right. So it's more they just have generic taps. But when Wi-Fi came in, we had to move over to more individual taps and more be a lot more precise, right? So these are the tap values. Now, how do they correspond to what you're doing? I'll talk to you about this device in a second and what this actually is. But well, coming out of that device, and let's design one that's right on your print right there. Let's see if I got one that will actually, yeah, right there. Okay, so looking at that amp right there. Mm -hmm. By the way, anybody want to take a wild guess where that amp might be located? That's an amp. You'll see a couple of symbols off that amp we haven't gotten to yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looks Pop like the there's a riser yeah. right there. Right on the line. Right on the street, maybe? Well, would the amp yeah. be located in the street, or would it be no. located maybe no. a vault? It's going to be inside or a vault. Yeah. I was just going to say yeah, it's that amp inside is actually vault. inside that vault. Yep. So if you look at that amp, that one right there, it's actually located in that vault. Now, how do I know that? Okay. Right, how would I know? Are you saying that? See that amp right there? Yeah. It's actually in that vault. By the way, the triangle. Anytime you see a triangle, that is an amp. Joe, want to go grab the amp outside? So what's it look like? <coughs> so any triangle on your plant print is an amp. Simple as that. So in that case there, we have an amp right there that's feeding, that's in that vault. So how do I know it's in a vault? There's a couple of things that tell me. General locations, right? That amp's kind of located near that vault. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the amp has cables coming off it, right? Each point of an amp signifies certain things. Here's an amp. This is what we're talking about. This device right here. All right? So that's an Aris standard Magnavox Aris amp that we use standard throughout our system. There's other ones, but this is the one you're mainly going to see. We used to call them taps, though, weren't they? These, no, these are amps. Okay. Yeah, these are always the taps of these. The taps. Okay, these are taps. the taps, yeah. Taps. So amps are not, have corresponding information that you need to know. Upper left hand corner. Which one's that one? This is number one. Also known as input. input. Then it cuts right across from there. So if this is one, what's this one? And what's this one? And this one is? So, right off the bat, one, which we know is input, two, three, and four, right? One, two, three, and four. Corresponds to points on your triangle. The back of an amplifier. If you look at that print again, there's a cable that goes right into that amplifier. And it's actually coming from way over here. See it? It's going right into the back of that amplifier. What do you think port is that one? One. Input. How do I know it's import? Input. Yep. The, the yep. actual triangle tells you the direction of the signal. The point. Yep. That point tells me the signal is going yeah. that way, which means it tells me the signal is coming from this way. A little bit of importance? Yeah, you'll splice and stuff backwards if you don't know that, right? So number one, port one, is your input. There's the feed. So if I'm building this out and I look down at the print, I'm going, oh, that feed's coming in from all the way over, over here, coming in, right? Good to know. By the way, that's coming from a node. How do I know it's coming from a node? I bet you, if I went and pulled up the, the uh, tombstone for that amp, it's going to tell me what? Amp number what in line? O2. O2. Plus whatever the node is, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't even tell me how far away it is, right? 
So I can go chase the amp down, or chase the node down, because i got to pull fuse there, so I don't shoot myself when I'm trying to splice this, or electrocute myself. So the second port, which is this one over here, right, is identified by the point. That's number two. Got it? So, if this is the input, my input cable's coming here, the, the point for the at the point of the triangle going out is port two. So if you look at that print, it tells me what's coming out of the point. That weird looking thing, circle with half of it color out, we'll talk about that in a second, that's known as a splitter, right? But then it continues on and goes which way? It goes in two different directions, right? Mm -hmm. One comes up and goes this way and goes to what type value port? Four. And what, how many ports? Four. How many ports? Think about it. It's a two. circle. Two, 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 two ports. Oh, okay. two What's port. the value? <coughs> four. 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 Two port tap. See, value two port tap is the circle. It's right. a four port value. So when it's time to splice this in, I'm going to have a two port tap, but the number here is going to be a four. 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 Got it? It's a four value. All right. Then it also comes down this way. If you look at it, kind of comes out this way, but typically it comes down this way. And then it goes back this way. See it? Mm -hmm. And goes somewhere down the print. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that might be important to know. Because that cool. is a splitter. That is also what we call an unbalanced or unequal splitter. And we'll discuss that in a second. So, that's the second port. Then I have a third and a fourth port. Because the two ends here, this direction and this direction, also have cable coming out of it, right? So that, if you look at the print, right, it's kind of difficult because they point them out of here, mm -hmm, yeah. but it's really the points that they go for, mm -hmm. right? This is three or four, and this one's four or three. Now, what the hell is Manny talking about? He's been drinking again, right? Well, it really depends on how you're building this. Let's say, if you look at that, right, I'm going to design this. I'm going to build this. I'm going to put my input cable here, right? I'm going to put my output cable for port 2 there. And then I'm going to feed my cable back this way, right? Because it comes back by the amp. Why would I put amp cable into port 4 if it's got to go back this way? You wouldn't, right? Where would you splice it into? 3. three. three. So that's how come that one could be 3 or 4. So this is all in the house sitting. But the other one, if you look at that print again, the other side of that also goes back. I oh, screwed in this case. So now you're going to have to build off number four up and back this way. See how to process? So three and four are interchangeable, right? Based on your situation. All right? Totally based on your situation. Which is always going to have specific. Specific, yes. Yeah. You, you don't know until you look. you got to look at the print and go, okay, I'm looking at this print and realizing, okay, I got... Port 2, that's got a DC off it, which is that splitter. I got port ah, 3 or 4. One's got a DC, one doesn't. Well, the DC, it looks like it's got two more cables coming back this way. So I'll probably throw that one on port 3, because I'm going to run a DC off it, and two cables going back that way, versus port 4, which only has one cable. Right. It's so much easier to bring one cable back than two cables back. There's where becoming a little bit of a plumber works out. You know? I mean, this one's a little different. We're literally loading this thing up. So I kind of wanted to get you an idea of what they look like, right? Mm -hmm. What's the R stand for oh. next to the um, splitter? Ah, a little R. Okay. We haven't talked about splitters yet, right. so let's All talk right. about Well, no, we have to talk about it because that's your next thing. Okay. So let's go 